Well, now we know. We've been waiting and now we know. Thanks to the reporting skills of WSA 9's own Eric Flack, we got a good idea where Dan Snyder could put his new stadium for the Washington Commanders. And that would be somewhere in Northern Virginia. Because, of course, of course this organization might go with a plan to make the team inaccessible to fans living here. Why would a D.C. team be based in D.C.? Who would think that that is a good idea? Not surely the millions of fans living in the district that have stood by the team during 30-odd years of mediocrity and lawsuits. I mean, we've already gotten used to going to the landfill they call a stadium over in Maryland, right? That's a joke, by the way, because... Tens of fans showed up to their season finale, so clearly we never got used to that. Of course, we'll head over into the Commonwealth, no problem. We all have reliable transportation to get us there and back, don't we? Now, according to the Washington football team master plan, they've got three locations in mind over in VA. Sterling, Virginia, you know, next to Dulles, which, as you all know, is the easiest of all places to commute to, as long as you got a couple three hours to spare and uh, you know, a meditation app on your phone. That's 28 miles away, kids, one way. Then there's Woodbridge, where they'll just drop it right in the middle of a neighborhood, which is going to go over great with the folks that are living there. They're going to love all those tailgating parties going on in their backyards. On the plus side, they'll be able to make a good little side hustle parking cars on their driveways and front yards. So get your hustle game up, Woodbridge. That one is 26 miles down one way, but no worries. You can all take I-95, so traffic won't be an issue at all. And speaking of traffic, the third location, 35 miles away in Dumfries, Virginia, which we might as well call Richmond. Now, I actually talked to a resident of Dumfries today on 980 on the radio, Eric, also of Custom Commander's Helmet fame. And I asked him, you guys out in the dump, are you guys excited that the team actually might come? He said, definitely. Do you think it's the right thing for the team to do? Nope. I said, you okay with the state offering financial incentives to get them there? Absolutely not. Now, my mom always told me if the man who dresses in team cosplay and lives in the actual jurisdiction the team might move to isn't on board, then nobody is. And let me ask you something, Virginia legislator. What is you thinking? What is you thinking? That's the only way I could ask. What is you thinking? I know what the Snyder gang is thinking. I wonder if we could finesse somebody to carry this weight for us, especially now that the former Maryland governor Paris Glenn Denning is on record saying how he knew FedEx was going to be a disaster. And then y'all kicked in the door like the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah, we'll pay for it. It won't cost taxpayers anything. You believe that? Do you believe that? Because if you do, I got a monorail you might be interested in. That's a Simpsons callback, by the way. Just Google it up, kids, when you ask your parents about Ripple. Why are you so thirsty, Virginia? Why? Y'all out here like the JV football team that just found out the prom queen is single. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Trust me, she don't want you. And if she picks you, it's to make somebody else jealous. Now, there is an existing infrastructure for the team already in place right here in this city. Space for a stadium, reliable transportation, and the central spot of a passionate fan base. But once again, the fan base just gets mushed in the face. How many more of these are we supposed to take? I'll tell you this. Good luck with the Commonwealth Commanders, Virginia. I'm sure it's going to work out swell. I mean, hasn't everything else?